only 5% of EPIC traders are general rule, inertial trends exist. It means that the long-term memory exists as well, right? Is it a contradiction? Absolutely. There are stages of evolution when the market practically neglects all the fundamentals and continues to process previous significant data. In such a way, we have the reaction delay when speaking about the so-called long-term memory. Dow theory is contradictive, and then in the considered case, the current price is not enough as price doesn't discount all the data, we need more information out of single price approach. One way is an explicit fundamental analysis, another introducing fundamental indicators which react to significant fundamentals. Besides, what about net effects uh, when the gross market interaction occurs? It is not taken into account as well by Dow. However, strong fundamentals shock different markets at different extents simultaneously. The panic sale of euro may cause net strengthening of USD. As a result, suddenly USD GPY pair comes to the green zone. It becomes possible because of arbitrage trading and cross market correlation. The strongest fundamental releases have a cumulative net behavior, but at the same time, they process by custom one instrument technical analysis. It's a paradox. So, what is the shortest? path to widen the horizon without loss of simplicity. Composition of market indexes is one of the possible solutions. So, a currency index is an instrument which is used to show a motion of considered currency in relation to overall FX market. Most liquid instruments should be taken into account. A basic currency is considered again its major counterparts, for example, euro against franc, yuan, USD, and British pound simultaneously. Currency index has obvious analytical advantage. It clearly shows tendencies in a single economic zone, eurozone for euro index, for example. The principal role of a currency index is its objectivity. Its reaction to fundamentals of other currency zones should be minimal. According to the, to the data of Bank for International Settlement, you can hear it, uh, a monthly turnover of central banks has shown seven currency leaders. You can see them right there. Let's move on, uh, on to our basic question, the algorithm of index composition. So, uh, the, first way, uh, the first way is a traditional USD index, which is traded uh, uh, in ICE. However, the problem is that this index has a nonlinear structure. A small fluctuation of some component, for example, this one, leads to unproportional growth of index value. It's a very convenient way for uh, it's a very convenient way of composition for trading, but it has a lack of objective fundamental value because it gives a distorted picture. Another way is portfolio approach. So uh, here we represent possible schemes of euro index and USD index portfolio construction. We preserve simplicity by using equal units. One euro against the portfolio of one dollar, one yen, and so on. You may see that each index is based on the relation of basic currency and a fixed benchmark. So here is the benchmark. Although some brokerage companies and banks provide currency indexes, they cannot be modified and used in a personal trading system. These indexes, which are represented here, re uh, just, are just the exceptions. Our goal is to, con uh, to include network market data in a classical trading approach by the use of these very indexes. So, uh, for this purpose, uh, one of the intelligent trading platforms has been used. NetTradex option creates uh, uh, create a personal competitive instrument, allows us to create a personal trading instrument based on elementary assets. I don't know where you can see all the details, but I hope, I hope that you can. So, indexes are composed to be uh, the PCI interface um, inside the NetTraders platform. We have no intention to trade them, that's why the trading volume may be defined in an arbitrary way. But here, uh, I have selected one unit of euro against one unit of uh, Canadian dollar and so on. 
The benchmark is built by adding the necessary currencies in the quoted parts of the table here. And this is the basic currency, the quoted parts, uh, currencies. Your I and um, vice uh, USDI represent uh, your index and reverse USD index correspondingly. Here I have shown the interface of your index only. In the represented figure, your is placed in the basic part, first table, here, while a benchmark portfolio is expressed by the quoted assets, second table. As a result, a new instrument can be added to the, to the platform library. Open close index prices are calculated automatically on the basis of relation between the basic part, this one, and the quoted part, this one. Uh, so, only candle borders are displayed in the platform. Now, we have two indexes which express the fundamentals of two currency zones. Your index here, bias USD index, which is the reverse to USD index, and your USD daily time frame here. Let's apply the supplementary instruments to, fit, to filter signals of your USD currency pair. Now we have three charts composed in NetTradex. Your USD, your index, and reverse USD index. Daily time frame is selected, however, you may experiment with other time frames as well. Please note that the platform can only form open close prices for synthetic instruments like indexes in PCI interface. However, all the history is available for traditional instruments. So uh, we have uh, open high low uh, close prices for your USD and open close for the indexes. Um, there is a well-known time scale approach when you consider the given market at two time frames or even three time frames. That is so-called uh, system of Alexander Elder. This system is merely a modification. We make space extension instead, instead of time extension to filter the signals. Here we consider a fragment of daily chart it is composed by three stages of market evolution, flat, trend, and again flat. A conservative trading idea is very, very simple. Your USD position should be open if both parabolics, both parabolics here, um, give bullish or bearish signals simultaneously. It means that your index strengthening and USD index weakening should be synchronized, the net market effect we are looking for. If one of them is reversed, then we should leave the market and close the position immediately. I have highlighted the corresponding regions uh, where the position should be held by green color. Here, 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 and here. Uh, the so-called trend regions. If contradictory signals are received, the region is considered as a mean reversal stage. Uh, um, red regions, here and here. It should be noticed that a considered system can be used simply as an indicator of trend for flight reversion. So, you can combine it with supplementary approaches. You can see that the first breakout here is correct. And our, systems in, and our system gives a buy signal immediately here. Note that we completely ignore the parabolic of the price chart 